So today I filmed um, this makeup look. As you can tell by the title, it's kind of a glam, autumn inspired makeup look. And um, I really, really love the way it turned out. I was so excited to film this for ages. Like um, the title suggests, it's quite a kind of full out, glamorous makeup look. I thought, you know, during the autumn, if you're going out, it's a bit of like, you know, pizzazz. So um, I really hope you enjoy the look and um, keep on watching to see how I did my face like this. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with the Benefit Professional. I especially like to focus it around like the centre of my face. So I'm kind of spreading out towards my cheeks because that's where I get more mostly oily. After I've primed my face I'm just going to apply my foundation um, which is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer which I talked about in my haul video. Uh, my last haul video which I'll link on the screen and also down below. Um, if you want to go and check that out. And now I'm taking my NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just going to use that to um, neutralise the bags under my eyes and just put on places where I have a bit of like darkness. So I'm not using this to highlight or anything. I'm going to do that after. I kind of get a bit of darkness around my mouth. After that I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which is a tad bit lighter. Honestly I feel like um, for the kind of highlighting that I want to do with concealer I still need to get like a proper lighter one. Do the whole typical Kim Kardashian V shape thing. And I'm gonna start off by blending it with like a flat foundation brush and then I'll probably go over it to properly blend it in with the blending brush. I'm using the Bourjois um, Poudre de Riz. Basically, they're rice powder. It's just a setting powder. I'm just gonna focus that mostly on my nose. Again, just basically the bits that usually get really oily. Now I'm gonna contour, and um, this I haven't gone back to in ages. I've used this in ages, but I recently started getting into contour. I've been watching a lot of um, Patricia Wright's makeup videos, and I love the way she does her contour. The thing I've said I love doing from watching um, Patricia as well is taking, so like the concealer that I used under my eyes, and um, taking that underneath the contour. <laughs> makes the contour like that much sharper. I'm gonna take my powder again and just go over that because my powder is like an illuminating powder so that kind of adds to the highlight there. Then I take this sleek um, blush which um, I always seem to go to till in the like autumn wintry months. I'm gonna go a little lower. Like I said I've basically been copying Patricia. I'm only usually kind of put my blush like up here but I'm gonna go a bit lower and put it kind of like just above the contour and I'm gonna um, use this natural collection bronzing powder um, which I mentioned in my haul as well a lot of the things I'm using today I mentioned in my haul and like I said I use it as a highlight yeah, that's how my cheeks look oh I love it so much I don't know if you can see that highlight and when the light hits on it it's so so gorgeous and it's just like a I don't know it's so different for me because I usually don't really focus much on my cheeks at all I'm just gonna zoom you in now to my eyes because I'm moving on to my eyes you are now zoomed into my face how scary so I'm gonna take my Bobbi Brown um, long wear eye base and put that on my eyelid <laughs>
I'm going to be using tape actually, um, just to get like a really crisp line by that, going like from my lower lash line, might be a bit too sharp, like that, like diagonally. And I'm going to take uh, my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and take the shade Tease, which is like a cool toned like mid brown colour, I'm just going to put that all over my lid so like a wash of colour. <laughs> Now I'm taking my Benefit little eye palette and I'm taking the dark brown shade and um, I'm going to use it as a transition colour in my crease. I'm taking a blending brush with nothing on it um, just to kind of blend it out. Now I'm taking literally one of my favourite shades ever and especially from this palette, the shade YDK. It's like a weird like bronzy, taupey colour but with like a little bit of pink undertones. I'm going to take that like on the lid basically, under the crease. And I'm focusing it more on the kind of centre to inner because I'm going to put black on the outer corner. I'm kind of doing a mixture of patting and kind of sweeping motions and blending literally I blend in between every stage I do I'm gonna blend for like a seamless look between every eyeshadow I'm gonna take a bit of blackout which is the matte black shade once again blend 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 and blend it up into the crease I'm taking my um, little Dior eyeshadow palette um, I'm going to take this middle shade, I'm going to put that on the inner corner. It's got a pink undertone into it as well, in it, the white you'll see when I put it on. It just looks pure white in the palette, but it actually comes off with a pink, it's like a shimmery pink white, and which I think ties in really nicely with the YDK shade. I think I might take um, some of the shadow under my, on my lower lash line just to balance out. The eyeshadow on top, so I think I'm going to take a mixture of YDK and T's. Then I'm taking my what is this bourgeois um, liquid liner thing, and I'm just going to do a little bit of wing liner. Mm -hmm. of attempting but kind of failing to sweep away the um, fallout. So now I'm applying mascara and obviously my trusty Rimmel Wonderful mascara. And I'm going to top that up with my Benefit Their Real mascara on both the top and bottom lashes. So that is the eyes done. Why am I doing that? My friend is so messed up from me like pushing it up. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm gonna zoom me back out. And um, I'm using this number seven matte lip crayon. And it's in the shade Raspberry Red and it's gorgeous. So after that, obviously you just leave it like this with this kind of pinky, purpley red um, lip. But um, I'm gonna apply the um, MAC lip gloss in barbecue over the top, just kind of like in the centre to give it um, a kind of glossy look. So I hope you enjoyed that finished look guys. The contrast between the really quite dark and smoky eyes with the um, bold kind of purpley, reddy, pinky <laughs> um, lip. I think it's really really gorgeous for autumn. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and yeah I will see you in my next video. Bye! MAC lipstick and um, it's a cream sheen um, kind of finish of MAC lipstick and it's in the shade Sunny. I can't pronounce this word. So